up my morning skincare. Today I'm actually not up to much. I'm just meeting my friend Delphine and we're going to <clears throat> go and meet for some coffee or something. Maybe take a few photos. I haven't really decided what we're doing yet. Just know that I am meeting her in the evening. I'll just film some TikTok videos or something. So quite a chill day. I've been using my LED light every day since I got that facial because she said that the red LED really helps with sensitivity and rebuilding the skin barrier and I think although my skin still looks quite red I think it has kind of improved it so I'm going to continue using it for a month or so every night and see what happens. Someone commented on one of my TikToks they were like, oh, congratulations, like you make people feel so bad about themselves because you're basically just showing off everything. But that is just not the point of my content. The point of my content is to like motivate people. As I said in my Q&A video, it's aspirational content. So although it's going to be toxic because it's not real a lot of the time, I don't make it to be fake and say this is my life every day. Like, I just choose to show the good parts. I guess that's what I like about YouTube is that I can, like, actually talk to you guys and stuff because there are so many things which you don't see on TikTok and Instagram. Not even just me, but a lot of other influencers. And when I was younger, I would get, like, jealous of people and envy people too. And I would just take a break from social media. So I do understand that it is, like, a very toxic environment. But you just got to remember it's not real. People are only showing the best parts um, of their life. But yeah, that's just a reminder that social media is kind of all fake. <laughs> Brekkie. So I've been having cereal recently for breakfast rather than like um, overnight oats. I kind of change my phases for breakfast. Sometimes I have a bagel or overnight oats or porridge, um, but I'm in my cereal phase now. I just got some Cheerios and then I added normal milk to this. Well, actually lactose free milk because I'm lactose intolerant, but I'm just kind of sick of all the um, like the oat milks and almond milks and they're not even that good for you. Like normal milk has the best nutrition. So I'm sticking with that for now. I've just got a banana, some warm water to start the day. So I usually try to drink all of this before starting my meal and then my vitamins. I'm aware that this is a lot of vitamins. It's just because I'm trying those Barbara Stern ones and the recommended guideline is two every day after your breakfast but if you were to take one vitamin i'd recommend this one i think it's called nature's health um but this basically has all the nutrients you need for the day i've got a bit of time before meeting delphine so i'm gonna do a bit of admin and like planner stuff but this is my comfy outfit of the day the set is from juicy couture and then the tank is from brandy melville i'm obsessed with the juicy couture sweats i literally have so many but you can never have enough colors this tank looks white but it's actually a really nice baby pink <music> laptop I just have my calendar up here but I also like check through my emails on this and stuff and then I have some stickers here with my really cute Philo Facts journal you guys always ask where it's from this journal is from Philo Facts and then you can buy new inserts for each new year so my sister really kindly got me the 2024 inserts for Christmas and then I stuck these really cute stickers here. So these stickers um, are from Japan. Ones are from AliExpress. They're pretty easy to find. These are my favorite like gel pens to write with. I usually use just a plain 
black pen, but then for special events or decorations, I'll use these Sakura um, jelly roll pens from Japan. Then I just have my sticker books here. So I have some sticker rolls and I have like an album. Got my candle slip. These are the Diptyque Valentine's Day ones. And then I always have a hand cream. So hand cream of the day is the L'Occitane Intensive Hand Balm. Um, and then lip balm of the day is the Summer Fridays Pink Sugar Butter Balm. I always have a snack too. So today is Milky Way. I'm probably gonna eat this now. And then I have my coffee here. This cup is just so cute. This girl on Instagram made it for me. She has a small business called Native. I'll put it up on the screen. Screen, but she also like personalized it with my name here it's just so cute and coquette it's a bit like i don't know if you can see but it's like got a pearl finish which is really nice and then on my ipad i just play some music or sometimes i'll like watch some youtube gossip girl just something in the background i'm listening to the pink pilates princess playlist i really need to make a new one for studying but otherwise i like listening to the one on YouTube. I don't know if it's this exact one, but I used to listen to something similar to this all the time when I was studying in uni and during school, but it's really nice just to have in the background if you kind of need to focus a bit more. But yeah, that is my setup. And I think it really changes your productivity and just how you feel about the whole situation when you have the vibe going especially studying you'd associate it with stress and stuff but if you put on some nice music some nice candles and surround yourself with positive energy it will just really help you kind of get through it <laughs> This is my outfit of the day. It kind of looks like I'm wearing pajama pants, but I don't know, it's kind of a vibe. Everything is from Brandy Melville, and then my bag is from Polen. I've just got this MEJ claw clip on it, and I've got a cute little bow in my hair. I think I'm just gonna walk and then bring an umbrella just in case it rains. horrible weather outside it's so dark and gloomy so I've just shut down the blinds because I don't want people to be able to see inside my home <laughs> I have a nail appointment in a bit but I thought I'd show you some of my monthly favorites as I have a bit of time Pilates was so cute though because basically YSL were hosting a Pilates event at Nobu Pilates, which I've been to a few times before. It's so aesthetic. They released like their new mascara in a waterproof form. So we put that on before doing Pilates. And as you can see, it really hasn't budged that much. That I've got a bit of like black under my eyes. I think that's just from my eyeliner. 
but yeah the mascara is really good this is the mascara by the way it's the lash clash in the waterproof formula on to my monthly favorites so first i've got my polen bag of course this isn't really a monthly favorite it's kind of an all-time favorite but you guys know i carry this bag with me everywhere this one is the smaller version but i also have the bigger one the bigger one i only really use for traveling or if i have a lot of stuff to bring with me like clothes to the gym or my laptop if i need to work from like a cafe or something but yeah small is really nice for every day next up i have these foot masks so i have this one which is japanese which my sister got for me um and also this one for boo well, she also got this for me for christmas but i have really dry feet they're kind of like these plastic socks which you put on your feet and then you um leave it on for 10 minutes so you can still walk around with it because it's like a sheet mask but in a sock form um, so it's really easy to use. You can like walk around with it. You just leave it on for like 15 minutes and take it off. And then yeah, your feet are really soft. I'm actually back into my phone charm phase. I feel like there was a phase where I had phone charm on all the time, like one or two years ago. And then I got sick of it, so I took it off. But now I'm obsessed with phone charms again. Um, and these are both from String Ting. So the one I have currently on my phone case um, it's this like heart, jelly heart one and then I have this one with bows on too but I, I think this one's my favourite because it's so cute but I might change into this bow one when I'm feeling a bit more coquette. I'm also back in my keyring phase. You know how like everyone put claw clips on their bag before? I feel like we're going back into like the beaded keyring phase i've seen quite a few posts on instagram and stuff people having these like birkins or chanel bags with like tons of these beaded jewelry things on so i think these are coming back i also have my star phase this is the limited edition hello kitty version but i think they're gonna probably like re-release -re this soon because this was like the third re-release of the limited edition hello kitty star face but these are really cute and i like how they're bigger than the normal stars because when i get spots they're usually quite big or like i get too close together um so these are really good for like eliminating the spots as they're appearing out like some spots nothing will kind of get rid of them you kind of just have to let them roll naturally but if i see a spot coming i'll just stick this on and sometimes it like disappears straight away because it really sucks up the oil lastly i have this glossier cloud paint so glossier just released the bronzing um cloud paints and i've been using this every single day since i got it this is the perfect tone for me this one's in the shade swept it's really good because it's not warm toned and it's not cool toned it's really like smack bang in the middle i also have the glossier future Dew. i wear this every day underneath my foundation and whenever i forget it my foundation just doesn't sit on my skin the same this is really good for people who have dry skin or dry patches where the foundation like doesn't sit nicely on your skin and it just gives you a really nice glow I also like when I do my makeup, I like making my whole face glowy and then powdering the places where I want to like mattify rather than making my whole face matte and then adding in the um, highlight. So this is really nice for using under. But I know some people just use it like as highlighter on top. But yeah, I use it all over my face. So yeah, those are my monthly favourites. Now I'm just going to have a shower and get ready for my nail appointment. So excited because my birthday set is coming. I think I'm gonna go for a gemstone theme. If you guys remember my rich Chinese girl nails, I'm gonna get similar to that, but like Aurora colors, kind of like purples and blues and pinks. <laughs>
morning guys it's saturday today and i'm obsessed with my nails so today i'm going for a little like pre-birthday celebration with my sister so she's taking me out to do pottery throwing which i'm really excited for i've done it once before but i'm not very good but yeah it's just like really fun to kind of make it from scratch yourself and then I'm also just going to her flat this morning because she's making me some brunch. That is my makeup done. My sister lives like two minutes away from me so it's perfect because I can just like pop over. And this is my outfit super cute the jumpsuit is from brandy melville and then this um shirt thing is from a shop called the outfit book it's like a french shop and then i think i'm just gonna bring like a tote bag with me and wear some like new balance trainers <laughs> super fun i improved a bit since last time but i still need quite a lot of lessons to kind of perfect it a bit um but brunch was so fun because my sister basically set it up as if she kind of had her own restaurant which was so cute like she made this menu and everything put the sign on the door and then yeah it was just so cute and she also got me these really nice flowers which are like from my favorite flower shop they're so pretty she like made the bouquet herself and it's got a little pink ribbon which of course just makes a finishing touch and then we just went to shake shack for dinner which is like one of my favorite places to eat so that was really fun but yeah thank you guys so much for watching again and hopefully i'll film another video soon bye